to stand here seeing all this, seeing what's happening and what's going to happen Friday. I mean, what's this, what's this feel like to finally be at this point? Wow. You know, I, I've been like living like a, like a dream over the past days as well. Um, and even though we were so, so busy preparing for this event, not only that, over the past weeks and months, we've been like working very hard, working with our, you know, like contractors, partners, preparing for the, for the start of construction. So, you know, feeling great, feeling busy, but it's great and very, very looking forward for the, for the Friday event. What will we see start happening here as early as Friday, I guess? <laughs> yes, it's, it's Friday. So we will be organizing the groundbreaking ceremony here, right here on Friday, um, July 28th at 9 a.m. That is where we are informing the whole world that we will, you know, like officially start the constructions of the factory. Where do you think, Sam, with permits and all of that to, to start that construction? Wow, we were all permitted. Uh, the, the latest permit that we got from Chatham County is a foundation permit that's allowed us to start the construction and we got it. So we got everything for us to, um, to start the construction of the, of the EVs factory. You know, this has been a long road. There have been road bumps and delays along the way. What has that been like to overcome some of those challenges? Well, actually, I would not call it a delay because, you know, when we announced it like literally more than a year ago when we signed the MOU, we think that we can do everything within that timeline. It's very compressed and very aggressive timeline. And right after signing the MOU, we start we started sitting down and you know, looking, uh, looking at all of the timing de in details and working with our partners as well. And we realized that we needed more time to prepare on all of the administrative uh, procedures, permittings, selecting the partners, the technology partners and all those things. That's why we came out and we informed people of the more realistic uh, timing and now is 2025 um, we will start productions right here you know it looks to look stand here now it looks like how in the world in 2025 would this all get done how committed and confident are you that this can be built and cars start rolling off the line here in we are confident because you know we we've done that we've been there we've done that with our you know plant in in Vietnam and actually uh, things can do in parallel as well. So, you know, for example, um, why we are building the factories, you know, our like technology partners can work on the equipment and then we have enough time for installation and commissioning as well. And at the same time, we started working on getting the human resources and people trained and prepared as well. So many things are happening at the same time. So we don't have to do like things in sequence, but things can do at the same time. When do you start hope to start hiring some of those people and training them for the, these jobs? Well, you know, over the past year, um, you know that we've been discussing with uh, community college here, and we've been meeting with a lot of partners here as well. So we are working closely with, with them to really prepare for the curriculum, for the people. These are the people and the students that we, um, we need and then we ask them to train for us. Um, and then for the, for the hiring, I think majority of the floor, the shop workers will be start hiring uh, maybe end of next year or beginning of 2025. Usually we need to train, even they were trained at the schools, at the vocational schools or community college, we needed people to be trained at our plant at least, at least three months in advance, three to six months in advance before we can put them into production lines. We know too, and you know very well that there's been some, some reviews of the cars once they arrived here in the U.S. What do you say to people who, 
I still wonder, you know, is this going to be a success? Are these cars going to take off here in the U.S.? You know what, because I was there at that uh, review week by, by the media, and if you are interested, we can share like how many, um, what, what we call maybe negative reviews uh, versus the positives or the neutral, uh, because we, we, we organized that event for uh, the full week. And after we received all of those negative reviews, we divided them into uh, different groups. So like what they are um, about. And mostly they are about also that the um, customer experience or customer expectations, you know, that this is what the customer expectation. And some of them would be like about the software and some about this. So basically we categorize them into each category and we are taking actions on that. And you know what, we are working hard to improve based on the feedback that we receive and stay tuned. We will inform the people that how we are taking actions on those, on those feedbacks and customers' feedbacks. VinFast commitments on three things remain the same in all cases. It's number one is always a quality and premium product. So that is, that is our number one commitment. Number two is we want to come in with affordable um, and flexible sales uh, price so that you know we want many more customers can convert into EVs. Can, and that is the way that we contribute to electrification. And number three, it's excellent customer service. So we are working hard to achieve those three um, objectives that we have. Um, we know, we all know that it's challenging, but we are on it and we're committed to it. You, you worked in the factory yourself. Do you, did you stand I here? am actually a factory person. I, 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 it, it, do you stand here now? Yeah. Can you envision the first cars rolling off the line here? Yeah, 2025. And this is on the right that you can see right here is our general assembly. And in 2025, people will witness the first car running off the production line of the general assembly shop. The car is made in USA and made by American people right here you have a good vision i mean it's hard for me to pick <laughs> yeah because uh this is one so further there you can see that we have press shop paint from the pet shop you have the panels you know coming out of the pet shop and then coming to body shop so putting the panels together um that is um, body shop and then body shop and then to paint so after the painted body and then that will be um, transfer by conveyor into general assembly and all of the parts that coming from the whole world and a lot of them were coming from uh, North America because we are working on building also the supply chain in North America as well and then all the parts are coming on together in general assembly um, that is the complete car and we're coming out of the final um, production slide in general assembly so is it essentially three buildings, or is it like two big buildings? No, each shop, it's it all okay. building. Gotcha. Okay. So each shop is one building, but it's connected. So, you know, you, you don't have people like bringing and carrying the, the painted body from paint shop to the general assembly. That is all conveyor. Gotcha. It's automated. And you all are working too with some local companies, right, for some of the, the infrastructure here. Yes, of course. Of course, that is what we are um, working on, and we have to, and we are working on the uh, local supply chain here, um, and we're talking to our uh, part suppliers so that they can have the productions like nearby or within the regions, or you know within North America. Will some of that constructions, like you know, from tech stuff, will, they, will there be local contractors working in? If we want, if we can um, work with local company, we will. 
because that's the that's the best way. Uh, it's also to um, optimize the cost as well. So, um, and like what I just described here is just the first phase of the you know manufacturing facility complex here. It's huge. The second phase is coming, and definitely we'll have a. Um, a battery um, manufacturing or also the supplier parks where you know local uh, suppliers can also like you know uh, build their you know production facilities here as well. So, so everything's ready here for the groundbreaking is it? Yeah what? you look at the tents and <laughs> we will be welcoming friends and partners there will be hundreds a few hundreds of them arriving here um, on Friday uh, and uh, we'll be also expecting um, a lot of VVIPs attending our event as well. So stay tuned. I was just going to say, are there surprises in, <laughs> in store? Yeah, uh, stay tuned. Come in uh, on Friday and you won't see.